Hi, my name is Hugh McKenna from Asgard Athletics. This week we're going to be paying tribute to the Iron Sheik from the WWF, and we're going to be performing the swing that he used to challenge his rivals to perform inside the wrestling ring. Later in this video, I'm also going to try and rise up to that challenge and perform 100 reps or more of this particular Iron Sheik style swing. So, how you're going to do this? We're going to start off with just one club, just so I can show you the, the motion that you're going to do the actual swing with. And then we're going to add the second club in, which is the way that the Iron Sheik used to swing. So this is just like an outside shoulder swing. Um, if you look at one of my older videos that I performed the outside shoulder swing, you can see that this style of swing has been around for centuries and is like one of the more basic swings that you can do. When you add the second club, though, it adds a, a layer of complexity that makes it very, very challenging. So you're going to slightly rotate your chest towards the club. This hand is going to be facing the ceiling in this like hammer grip. You're going to bring the club behind your back. You're going to put your hand low and your elbow high, putting your sword away. You're going to slightly rotate your chest to the other side. And as you do that, you're going to pull this elbow down into this position here. And now I end up in the same position, just on the other side. If I had another club in this hand, I would just go back the other way. But since I only have one, I'm just going to go back to the original side. So I bring my hand up, I put my sword away, hand low, elbow high, I turn, and I take my sword out. Turn back, hand low, elbow high, take my sword out. Now, the key to the swing is that it's a milling kind of motion. It's a continuous circle that we're gonna do on both sides. So, in a lot of outside shoulder swings, you punch across your body, let it swing all the way here, and you kind of take a break as it's swinging down this way to like reset in between reps. And then you do like a full throw and you swing and you catch and you swing and you catch and it kind of breaks up your reps a little bit between like the throwing motion and like the motion to recover. This is more of a mill, right? So you do an outside shoulder mill, right? You're here, you bring it up and you just constantly rotate through this, right? So this is the actual mill. Now, to perform the iron cheek swing, you need two clubs. So now that I have two clubs, the back club is the one performing the rep. And I come and do my outside shoulder swing. Now this becomes the back club. And now I do my outside shoulder swing. Outside shoulder swing, right? And now to do it like the Iron Cheek used to do, you're gonna have to do it at a much higher pace and continuously, right? So you see how there's like a break, a break, and I did each rep like that. Now I'm just gonna continuously do these reps. So I'm gonna be here. So as you can see, it's much more challenging to keep the motion going and to coordinate the front and the back club simultaneously. So that's the Iron Sheik Swing. This swing is a lot of fun. It's particularly good for people who want to grapple in MMA and Jiu Jitsu and wrestling and want to develop the upper body strength, mobility, and coordination necessary to, to pummel for those grips and upper body control that you need throughout the match. So give this swing a try. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to properly perform the swing. Also give my older video, the outside shoulder swing, a look if you want a more in-depth breakdown on how, how to properly perform that swing, which is the primary swinging motion that you're going to be doing during this exercise. If you haven't already, please give this video a like. Also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the weekly videos coming out. So now to the fun part. The Iron Sheik used to challenge his rivals to outswing him in this particular exercise. So I'm going to try and do 100 reps or more uninterrupted of this swing. If you can match that or even beat it, give me a tag, let me know, and I'll repost your video. It'd be awesome to see all of you try and outswing me. Later.
I think that was like 110, something like that. We'll see. And he did. He did over a hundred. He did a hundred.